Stephanie Marco, welcome to WGC. Today we're going to do a 16-part series that is really beautiful for weight control. And the way Yogi Bhajan set up this series was that you can mix and match and you can implement parts of this series into your regular yoga practice as an added bonus, or you can continue with part of the series in a sequence, or just do one or two per day and work your way up. Um, the whole process is really about targeting this inner layer of fat tissue that we all have in our bodies. And a relatively thin person can really benefit um, from this practice as well, just because of the great circulatory effects that these um, asanas and kriyas have. Uh, when we begin any kundalini yoga set, we always start with Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo, which means I humbly bow to my inner teacher for my answers. Uh, my guru brings darkness to light. Uh, so we believe that we're all our own teachers in kundalini yoga. So please rub your palms together, bring them to your heart center, pressing the thumbs into the sternum, rolling the shoulders up and back and straightening the spine. Chest is wide. Eyes are at the third eye point. Tongue is to the roof of the mouth. And just really holding your energy as we inhale, filling the belly with air and exhale through the nose. And inhale to tune in. downward. Lifting the palms to feel lighter or putting the palms down on the knees to ground you. Whatever you're feeling like you need today. And we're going to come lying down on our backs. And we're going to do an exercise called the diagonal stretch. And it can be done in bed. It can be done if you're feeling a little ill. It's a very gentle exercise. Um, really tuning in to the cosmic energy and the calmness, the peacefulness and the gracefulness of our existence with this exercise. So we're going to keep the legs straight. And it's almost going to be like you're in a slow motion movie. It's like a cat stretch. So we'll raise the arm slowly over the head and cross the left leg over the right thigh like a cat stretch, but we're keeping the legs straight. A 
and you're just going to allow yourself to slowly curl to one side. And we're going to hold it for one minute. Just breathing very gently, slowly. And then we'll gently, in slow motion, The birds really like this. <laughs> we'll move slowly to the other side, raising the left hand above the head, crossing the left leg, straight knee over right hip and breathing for one minute it's recommended to hold each side up to five minutes Just feel what your body needs and relax into the Kriya And moving slowly again, very gently, uncurling yourself over to the side. Raising the right arm above the head allowing it to melt like butter onto the surface beneath you and bringing the right leg over the left thigh keeping the knee straight and relaxed
and uncurling and moving in slow motion back to the other side lifting our arm the left arm comes up and relaxes above the head and the left leg moves across the right thigh, keeping both legs straight. And slowly coming down. <sighs> and let's just relax at the center now in Shavasana. Feeling any shifts in the tempo of your breath, in the deepening of your breath. Feeling more connected to your spine. Allowing your body to wake up or inviting your body to wind down. Creating a sacred space of consciousness between yourself and your beautiful body.
you can choose to continue laying in Shavasana now or repeating those exercises that we just did, the lovely stretch, as many times as you'd like to get your day started or to wind down from the day. This is the first in the series, so look for the second exercise, which is uh, a breathing and um, navel point, more challenging exercise uh, in this series. And again, with any weight loss program, eating and diet are really an important factor in all of this, so do incorporate that into your practice as well. And if you'd like more tips from me, I can be reached at www.tantralife.com or at Steph Marco on Instagram. Thank you for joining us on WGC. We'll see you soon. Sat Nam. May the light be with you.